USA, Mexico, Canada win the bid for the 2026 World Cup. It doesn't seem fair. It was the North Americans versus Morocco. That doesn't seem like a fair fight. But uh, the World Cup sort of returns to the United States for the first time since 1994. And who better to bring in to put this into its proper perspective than Roger Bennett, the uh, co-host of Men in Blazers. And, of course, he has the new book out, Encyclopedia Bla- uh, Blazer Tanica, available online and wherever books are sold. Are you drunk right now, Roger? Oh, drunk Rog is the best. Rog, Dan, is a great day to be alive. All the terrible things I've said about FIFA in the past, I take them back. It's an amazing <laughs> organization filled, filled with wisdom. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, Mexico. There's going to be a giant bar mitzvah to which the world is invited. It's going to be soccer themed, and it's only 2,529 days away. Who's counting? Okay. It doesn't seem like a fair fight. It was Mexico, the United States, and Canada versus Morocco. Yeah. Are you, are you forgetting that FIFA gave the last two World Cups to rogue state Russia, which starts tomorrow? Then they're going to put the tournament in Qatar, in Qatar, in 2020. <laughs> Morocco is not that big a stretch. I mean, it's up there with Antarctica, Pluto, the Republic of Gilead, Police Massa, the wilding town of Hardo. I would never have put anything past FIFA. It's a wild decision that they've come to us, that they've come home. They're bringing football home to America, Dan. And it's going to be game-changing for the sport of soccer. 1994, the World Cup was on these shores. You remember oh, yes. that World Cup kind of burnt off the hatred that many Americans had towards soccer, left MLS uh, in its wake. <laughs> 2026, the amount of money that's going to pour into the sport in the next eight years is going to be like rocket fuel at every level for soccer, from youth development, identification, scouting, two to the U.S. They may even make the U.S. men half as good as the U.S. women, uh, which will be a remarkable feat. And it's going to transform the sport, put it up there with eSports and the NBA (laughs) as America's favorite sport come 2026. But doesn't this ensure that we make the... Did we basically buy our way into the World Cup? Because when you host as a host country, like you're you're in the World Cup, right? There's no way we can't screw Um, this up in 2026, right? Um, you know, there's, there's, they've not announced whether, because it's three teams, whether they all get in. I would be shocked if they didn't. Here's what happened today. I mean, it's been a touch and go, a lot closer than many people thought the race between Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. against Morocco, which you laugh at. But, you know, FIFA loved Morocco for many reasons. Mostly, they had to build 12 stadium. Uh, and and FIFA loves kickbacks. It loves corruption. (laughs) And when they look at the U.S., that's ready now to, you know, they look the U.S. like Boy Scouts. I look at our Dallas Cowboys jumbotron. It's huge. FIFA looks at it. It's like, oh, that's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for new construction. We're looking for kickbacks. (laughs) But today, U.S. soccer president Carlos Cordero got a 50-minute presentation to the FIFA Congress, which, if you've not watched it, it's a bit like that Spectre scene in James Bond uh, when, the, when the ill, evil doers of the world get together. And he muttered a pitch in, in a language that FIFA understands. It was the most rational pitch that an American could make to FIFA. He just leant into the microphone and he said, I promise you $11 billion in profit. $11 billion dollars and he, he couldn't have been clearer to fifa if he spoke that in esperanto dan we're talking to roger bennett co-host of men in blazers and his new book encyclopedia blazer tanica available online and wherever books are sold we had our world cup draft yesterday and a shower of shame a punishment is uh at stake here because we had uh, one seat o'connor he said I give me one pick and I will tell you who will win. And uh, if he loses, then there will be a shower of shame attached to that. Seton, would you tell Roger who you picked, who will win? You're guaranteeing the World Cup. Guaranteed. Belgium is winning the World Cup. Interesting. Not a bad choice, Seton. Not a bad choice. You may be going on a bender that could even rival Alex Ovechkin (laughs) come July 15th. Prepare yourself accordingly. (laughs) They are a phenomenal football team. Their roster is like a pro bowl team of just Premier League stars. What they lack is an idea of how to play or even their best starting 11. 
Uh, and, and international football is an odd beast. Club football, the Barcelonas, the Manchester Cities, are actually much better than the international teams that we're about to see in World Cup play. Because like an all-star team, these teams are just flung out with very little training, very little chemistry, very little time to get it right on the field. Belgium and France both have murderous rows of talent. Neither of them have a good idea of how they're going to play on the field. Uh, unlike Germany or Brazil, who have a real tactical idea. Uh, but they, they, they could surprise. They could surprise. Roger, thank you. I know that you're uh, drunk with uh, excitement, the possibility of what could happen in 2026. And we're going to plan accordingly. And uh, by the way, who is your pick for the World Cup? Um, I believe in Iceland, 325,000 population, as big as Corpus Christi, Texas. They believe that Viking blood flows through their veins. Their manager is a part-time dentist. They, he will, 12 years ago, he was the manager of his under-12 side. He will now lead the team out against Argentina and Lionel Messi, and they will fancy their chances. But none of this matters. It's all about 2026. <laughs> There's 10-year-olds across the nation listening to this who will be playing for the USA with a midfield of Christian Pulisic, Josh Sargent, who will be 26, and Baron Trump. I promise you, you're breaking news. <laughs> Baron Trump will be playing for the USA in the starting midfield come 2026. Great to be with you guys. It's a great day for America. Thank Courage. you. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. That's uh, Roger Bennett. Did, did he give a sign-off, a Dan Rather <laughs> sign-off of Courage? For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.